introduction to Schrodinger wave equation. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe time independent Schrodinger equation. Describe Schrodinger equation for a free particle. Derive time dependent Schrodinger equation. Before moving on to the topic, let us do an experiment. Here we use a speaker to vibrate and a dish containing silicon oil. Now, if we take a toothpick and make little droplets over the surface of the speaker, the droplets start to bounce. Every time the droplets land on the surface, it creates a wave. And when these droplets are passed through a slit, they form an interference pattern. When an electron is passed rather than behaving like particle and ending up in two clumps of column behind the slit, it produces an interference pattern. As suggested by D. Broglie, an electron behaves as a particle and as a wave. So, what does Schrodinger wave equation describe? When an electron behaves like a particle, it would move in a straight line and it is easy to find within a certain area. But how to find the electron when it behaves in wave format? Here, we use the Schrodinger wave equation. The probability of finding a particle within a corresponding area is by using a symbol psi. Wave functions are usually complex with both real and imaginary parts. We will review some basics with complex algebra used in Schrodinger equation. Psi is equal to A plus IB. In 1935, Erwin Schrodinger made a thought experiment with a cat which portrays the quantum mechanics. He put a cat into a box, along with a flask of deadly poison, a Geiger counter connected with a hammer, and a small bit of radioactive material. Here, we are going to see an important term in quantum mechanics, that is, superposition. A particle which exists in all its possible states at the same time is known as superposition. Here, there is a 50-50 chance that one of the radio atoms gets decayed and releases some radiation within an hour, which might cause the counter connected with the hammer to shatter the poison bottle, which in turn may cause the cat to die. In an equally good chance, the wire might not get broken, which allows the cat to stay alive. And now, what is actually happening inside the box? Is the radioactive atom in a superposition state? Is the cat alive or not? We have to open the box and see. But according to quantum mechanics, the state of superposition is not observed. Let psi be the probability of the cat to be alive. Psi is equal to A plus IB. And psi star be the probability of the cat to be dead. Psi star is equal to a minus IB. So, psi and psi star refer to superposition of states. Since the cat can either be dead or alive, the state of superposition is not seen. And so, modulus of psi square is the product of psi star and psi is equal to A square minus I square B square. We know that the value of I square is minus 1, which gives a square plus B square. We have seen in previous lessons, quantum mechanics is the branch that deals with the mathematical description of the motion and interaction of subatomic particles, incorporating the concepts of quantization of energy, wave particle duality, the uncertainty principle, and the correspondence principle. Schrodinger wave equation is used to describe the behavior of a particle at the atomic level. Schrodinger was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1926 for developing the Schrodinger equation, the solution of which gives wave functions, out of which only certain solutions are permissible. The probability of every possible observation is determined by the wave function. But prior to the observation, the wave function changes and evolves in a completely deterministic manner. 
Schrodinger wave equation has two forms. One is time independent equation and the other one is time dependent or the steady state equation. Let us see Schrodinger time independent wave equation. Let psi into RT be the wave function for the de Broglie waves at location R which is equal to R cap is equal to I cap X plus J cap Y plus K cap Z. Maxwell's discovered that light was described by waves. Let us consider Maxwell's equation as 1, where u is speed of light and t is time. The solution of Maxwell's equation is psi into rt is equal to psi r e power minus i omega t, where omega is angular frequency. Differentiating the above equation, we get 1 by u square into dou square psi by dou t square is equal to minus omega square by u square into psi. Let it be equation 2. Substitute the equation 2 in 1. So, the equation is changed as given below. Consider this as equation 3. Omega by u is equal to 2 pi by lambda where lambda is wavelength. Substitute the omega value in equation 3, we get equation 4. According to de Broglie equation, lambda is equal to h divided by mv. Here, h is Planck's constant, m is mass and v is velocity. Substitute the value of lambda in equation 4. We get equation 5. We all know that the energy equation is half mv square is equal to e minus v. Apply this to equation 5. We get a Schrodinger time independent wave equation. Here, e denotes kinetic energy and v denotes potential energy. Let's apply Schrodinger equation for a free particle v is equal to 0. The equation is as shown. Let us start with Schrodinger time independent wave equation. Schrodinger time dependent equation develops as follows. Consider a wave function represented as psi is equal to a into e power minus i omega t, where a is amplitude of the wave. Omega is the angular frequency and t is the time period. Differentiating the above equation with respect to t, we get dou psi by dou t is equal to minus i into 2 pi nu a into e power minus i omega t. We know that e is equal to h nu. Apply the above statement in above equation and the change is as given. Hence, Schrodinger wave equation can be written as Simplifying the above equation, we get Schrodinger time dependent wave equation. Let us move on to the applications of Schrodinger wave equation. It is used to compute intensity of waves scattered by a crystal in the direction of the detector as in the cases of diffraction phenomena of X-rays. It is also used to understand the behavior of electrons in atomic and molecular orbitals with appropriate modification. The advantages of quantum mechanics is that quantum mechanics is a theory that allows us to make predictions about what happens to tiny physics systems, such as individual atoms, and then test these predictions in the lab. Summary Wave function is a mathematical tool used in quantum mechanics to describe any kind of quantum physical system. Wave functions are usually complex with both real and imaginary parts.